Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is a fortnightly reading for February the 16th through to the 28th. So just a couple more days left in your season then we're moving into beautiful Pisces. We have Cup Ace Water. So there is a beautiful new emotional beginning of your heart here coming through for you Aquarius now I'll just say very quickly this is a general reading you master of your own energy just take what feels like feels right and leave the rest and if it does really resonate and you'd like to hear more there will be an extended reading where we'll look at career finance and love in more detail and look at the future beyond so the link will be in the description box below wow we have the Empress card coming in, Venus, Libra, Taurus, Pisces. I think this transition into the Piscean energy is going to be really good for you because it's a sense of um, something, an idea really grounding down from your head to your heart and then expanding out into abundance. So this is really beautiful. It's a, an amazing time to manifest and make some of the uh, the new ideas and creations and energy that you've kind of generated throughout your season and make it into something that um, out in the world. Okay, what else is coming with this? <laughs> George, George the Rooster is like, yeah. Okay, what else is coming through with this? Oh, my gosh. Wow. We have the Emperor, Aries, Mars, Sun. Oh, my gosh. This is like the Emperor and Empress have had a baby. And this beautiful cup, Ace of Cups has come in. That could be so symbolic on so many levels. For some of you, this is a pregnancy coming in. It's birthing something. It's a beautiful balance between the masculine and the feminine coming through. It's a reminder of what your parents made when they created you was something very beautiful and going back to the source. So this is something so powerful that is being birthed here. It's extraordinary. Really extraordinary Aquarius, I've never actually seen anything. The two powerhouses, like the Emperor and the, the Empress next to each other. I've, I've actually never seen this before. Eight of Cups. Gosh. Uh, Eight of Cups, walking away from something, something that's not fulfilling. There's been a cup missing. There's something missing. And look what's coming in, in a big way. The thing that was missing, that one missing cup, that thing that was um, stopping you from feeling fulfilled, stopping you from reaching a peak of happiness, it's coming. Wow. And bigger and better than what you think. It's like you need to walk away from the old path to bring in, to make it bigger and better because it's like you're never going to find it on this path that you're on right now. Crossed by the Three of Pentacles. It can be related to uh, being recognised. It can be related to your skills and your abilities and how you're um, putting that out there and sharing it with the world. It can be related to a group energy that no longer resonates and works for you. The Two of Pentacles. Wow. So in your conscious mind, it seemed like there's something very imbalanced here. And this comes in, so this is balance, like in the highest order of balance, having emp em Empress and the cup, their baby in the middle. So in your conscious mind and your higher mind, there's this two of pentacles that is kind of saying, need to find the balance. Energy is being uh, taken two ways, two different ways being stretched in two different directions. So this can be finding some kind of like, it can be any kind of balance in your life, give and take. It can be money coming in and out, balancing accounts. It can be balancing two different jobs. It can be work-life balance. It can be anything like that. I feel like there's a, a huge rebalancing coming in. Okay. Let's see what's happening at the base here, a deep down energy. I just want to move these cards out of the way for the moment, Aquarius. You seriously cannot believe this. Oh, my God. 
the Empress coming in at the base. Wow, this is just such a powerful time to manifest, to expand, to grow, to bring in a more abundance, to bring in more of everything. Amazing. And in the recent past, the Strength card, there's a sense that there's been a, a fusion of um, the innocent and the known, the old and the new. There's been a fusion of uh, finding your strength and your vulnerability and joining them together. And that's created this incredible, wow, this incredible <laughs> potent energy. Okay, let's see what's coming in in the near future. Three of Swords, not what I was expecting, Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what comes next to it. The Queen of Wands. Intriguing. So this is where uh, your wound comes up to be healed. And this wound has led you down this path of a lack of fulfillment. And with the Queen of Wands, she nurtures that into a direction that is going to create what you want, the opportunity to bring in what you truly desire, the opportunity to draw and attract all the right things, people, energies, opportunities to you. And being master of your own shadow side, you are being presented as the hermit which is a lovely Virgo energy. And it's interesting because this is finding the answers deep within. Coming across as there's a wisdom, a deep wisdom that's coming in here. For some of you, there's soul searching. There's been some soul searching going on this journey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's see what is in the energy surrounding you. The King of Pentacles. So there is there is abundance around you at the moment. There is someone or an energy of stability and solidity. St um, could be a Taurus as well. This person could be very dependable. So it could be very powerful, could be wealthy. There's a lot of wealth. There's money around you, an opportunity, and they're wanting you to see that. So that's interesting. With that king of pentacles. I mean, there's money everywhere. There, I mean, there is wealth everywhere, whether you're, it's in your social circle or not. It's in the world. It's out there. And it's so easy to connect to it nowadays because of uh, social media platforms. So, but it, this king of pentacles is the energy of someone or uh, a place or a situation where it felt like you had what you needed. You were getting what you needed from it. You got as much as you could get from something. So let's see. Two of Wands, wanting to start something new, leave something behind. Absolutely. And the Death card. Look, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, deep transformation and change. So actually, you know, this is like a Chiron return in... in um, the symbology of it, the actual energy of it, it's like um, Chiron is your wound that comes back to be looked at. And through that and through the healing of that, uh, it brings this amazing abundance. But it comes back from the story of your birth and then it presents this new birth that you are now being <laughs> um, having a second opportunity to step into life and release something that has become a burden to you something that has may have been related to self-identity. I feel like it's yet yeah, something you've brought on. It, it's been there since birth. So, or, yeah, it's, um, gosh, it's really, really powerful. So I'm going to pull an animal spirit energy for you, Aquarius. Actually, I want to pull an affirmation card first because this is big. This is really big. 
but there's this amazing expansion and transformation coming through. So what does Aquarius need to know or hear? What aff positive affirmation? I am in the process of positive change. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity and peace of mind. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, let's see what animal spirit medicine is around for you, Aquarius. What energy is Aquarius working with? What animal spirit medicine is around for Aquarius? <laughs> I love this because this is like Aquarian energy for me, the unicorn that's come out. It is brilliant. It is, it's coming back to yourself, your source. I mean, this is a source energy and it's like the same shape as this, this here. So, I mean, it's coming back to you, you, your origin myth, your unique and special qualities. And you are the unicorn. Unicorns are very special, magical creatures. So, and some, there's some things that, and qualities that are so ephemeral or ethereal or magical that they don't seem necessarily real. Some people don't necessarily believe in them. And this, what it might, might be what it came, comes down to is about your belief systems. Who or what do you believe in? Who hasn't believed in you? Where have you not believed in yourself? That's what the energy of the unicorn is, is bringing you back to that part of you, that magical part of you and asking you to believe. So believe in yourself. So, wow. Let's pull a, a fairy card for you, Aquarius. What intuitive message does Aquarius need to hear? Oh, that gnome. This is an interesting energy because it's looking at frustrations of the past, past mistakes, and forgiving yourself of that, but also learning uh, where you've made a mistake in the past Forgiving yourself for redoing it, making it twice or three times or a gazillion times, uh, and then allowing yourself to have um, a sense of acceptance and refreshing, a refreshing energy. It's like a refresh in your life. So this can be, you know, there's people that, now what I'm getting is there's people that don't, like if you're not practical, People kind of get can get frustrated. This is kind of where I'm getting that some other people got fr can get frustrated with you with your dreams and not think that they're too much of a concrete reality. And this is, you know, they didn't believe in you for that reason because they didn't think you could do what you set yourself. I'm getting seeing this big dream, this big vision, this blue sky vision, and someone very small like this little gnome who does you can't think very hard far ahead of themselves is coming and going oh you're not at that again are you you don't really believe that to be true and that's kind of the energy I'm getting with that is that's kind of what they're showing you to take a look at that because that's linked to self-belief here and to understand that this person or this energy is just something very very small and silly <laughs> and just to disempower that. So that's what they're saying about, oh, that gnome. Again, it's about re retelling that story. So, oh, wow. And just as a charm to finish it off, Aquarius, we have a Pegasus. The flying horse, again, like the unicorn. And the horses are about change, flying is about freedom and also about spiritual 
elements. So it's about a very deep spiritual liberation and change, coming back to yourself and freeing yourself and allowing yourself to be truly who you are and to accept that that can bring, once you step very deep into that and heal that old wound, it can bring all this amazing abundance that's here on offer, this huge personal transformation and change. So, yeah, I mean, it's so... Don't just walk when you can fly. That's what they want me to say. And that comes back to this. Someone with a very pedestrian, limited mind. This is you. You're like, no, I'm flying to the sun. So, wow. Okay. That, that, that's it, Aquarius. Um, thinking big, dreaming big, allowing yourself to come back to who you truly are and your own unique gifts and abilities. So, yeah, it's an, an incredibly potent time make a wish, plant a seed, manifest something and see what comes of it because this could be something huge. So that's it for this reading. If you appreciated and enjoyed this reading, uh, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your comments to hear how this resonated. And I'm going to take it over to, to the deep read now, the extended reading where we're going to look at what else is coming in in the future and the future beyond. We're also going to look at career, money and finance and pull some cards specifically around that and find out what you need to know around that. And if there's anything else that um, other little intuitive messages that need to come in, uh, we'll find out more about that. So the link for the extended reading is in the, ex the description box below and I also tag it to a comment or pin it to a comment. Uh, uh, but if this is where we're leaving each other, Aquarius, enjoy this beautiful energy. Thank you so much for joining me and please take care.